we have to find out the acceleration of this 500 gram mass okay so uh, this is 100 gram this is 50 gram and this is 500 gram so now let's write it in the form of kilogram okay so this is 0.1 kilogram this is 0.5 kilogram so this is 0.5 kilogram this is 0.1 kilogram okay this will be 0 0.05 kilogram okay so now let's draw the free body diagram of 0.5 kg mass okay so here there is a 0.5 kg mass okay let's say the tension is t upwards okay and downwards gravitational force is 0.5 g okay correct now this uh, mass will be going downwards okay so this is 0.5 g let's say this is tension t okay if this mass is going downwards we have 0.5 g minus t is equal to 0.5 times a this is the acceleration now here there will be a tension t again because it is same string so there will be tension t dash over here okay and in this string also the tension will be t dash right now we have to find out uh, the acceleration of 0.5 kg right so now for 0.1 kg the free body diagram will look like this this is 0.1 kg mass okay there will be this direction tension t in this direction tension t dash okay and there will be mg sin theta that is 0.1 g sin 30 degree in the downward direction now since we are assuming that this block is moving down this block will move upwards okay so now we have t minus t dash minus 0.1 g by 2 sin 30 is 1 by 2 is equal to 0.1 times a the acceleration will be same okay it will be a now in this case of this block 0 0.05 kg can, we can draw the free body diagram like this this is the block 0 0.05 kg the upward force is t dash tension and downward force is 0 0.05 g okay now this is going upward so t dash minus 0 0.05 g is equal to 0 0.05 a again the acceleration will be same okay now solve it for acceleration a okay we can see from here if we add all this expression we will cancel out t and t dash and we will eventually get a so if we add all these expressions what we will get 0.5 g okay minus 0 0.1 by 2 g minus 0 0.05 g is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.1 is 0 0.6 and this will become 0 0.65 a okay so now we'll multiply both the sides by 100 so we will get 50 g minus 100 into 0 0.1 is equal to 10 divided by 2 into g minus 5 g is equal to 65 a okay so this will become 50 minus 10 g is equal to 65 a correct now this is 40 g is equal to 65 a so a is equal to 40 g by 65 so we will have this one as 5 into 8 uh, is 40 so 5 this is 13 so 8 by 13 g is the acceleration 8 by 13 g is the acceleration of the 0 0.05 0 0.5 kg mass okay